We're doing hair surgery today. I did car makeup. So better than me. It's not looking so good today. But today I am at Roots with Taylor, my lovely stylist. She's the best. If you need good hair in Houston, go to her. And today we are doing a little hair surgery and I'm getting my new clip-in extensions cut. By Foxy Locks. By Foxy Locks, my new Foxy Locks extensions. They look so beautiful and they're so long. Do you remember that video I did 100,000 years ago with Foxy Locks extensions? Those are my very first real, real live, non Sally's Beauty, non DIY extensions. I got 22 inch seamless extensions, which I've never had seamless. They are really flat and they don't feel bulky in your head. It is a amazing advancement in hair technology. <laughs> and my old extensions, I actually have the little piece of extension I would always put in my hair for as like my security blanket of like a little more thickness because I feel like my hair is so thin now. Even though it's getting a lot better thanks to Taylor. My hair was in bad shape when I came to her and it's actually growing and not looking as busted and broom-like as it was. <laughs> Busted and broom like. <laughs> so, anyway, the wedding's coming. The bridal shower is coming tomorrow. And so I'm gonna be long, luxurious, and what Taylor calls a big ridiculous. Big ridiculous. <laughs> She's like, you have to treasure this hair. It came with this length of hair, so I feel guilty cutting it. So we're gonna be big ridiculous until I feel too ridiculous and maybe make her cut them but she toned them to match my hair and we actually toned my hair too you might you can't really see it right now but it does look like a little bit darker but it looks so much less yellow it looks like lemon yellow last week and I kind of couldn't stand it it was just getting really really brassy and she fixed it I'm kind of rambling Weavy wonder. Weavy wonder? <laughs> I feel like share. <laughs> Let's fix your part. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, my testimonial. For <laughs> you guys missed this. My testimonial for the morning was oh my god, I'm so luxurious. <laughs> we still have more. Okay, yes. <laughs> You're a really good girl. Alright, so I am back home. I'm warming up a little bit of food and Luna's going insane. Business as usual. I just shot the beginning of a video that I'm going to finish up later on, uh, but I wanted to put in the rest of my extensions and curl them to see how it look because I'm considering wearing them tomorrow. I haven't really decided. I do feel like a little bit self-conscious with like extreme long clip-in extensions because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm living a lie. Like, oh, there's Leanne. She decided to wear her hair today. It feels weird to me. It feels like too extra, but at the same time, I love it. So it should probably just like accept myself, live my truth, and wear my big ridiculous hair. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my food and then meet you in the bathroom to work on my hair. Oh, <coughs> sorry. Ugh, I don't recognize myself. I feel weird. Do I look weird? Y'all are probably gonna tell me I look weird. They might be like a shade too dark, but I think that will fade as I wash them and is pretty darn close. Taylor did a really good job and this is all of them in. I haven't worn a full set of extensions in years, in years, <laughs> because it's just too much. But like looking at this, I'm like, is it though? Is it too much? Really, I don't like it all pull forward. I like it from the back. It looks kind of strange straight, but I'm about to curl it and I think it's gonna look really pretty and I'll probably wear it like this out to dinner tonight because I'm going to dinner 
with the fam because my sister and her husband Trivi J are in town from New York because of my bridal shower tomorrow which I'm so excited about that and I still haven't decided what I'm gonna wear yet I know crazy and between the Candyland dress this one right here I got it from ASOS a while back but I tried it on yesterday and realized that even though I have not worn this dress at all it's like damaged I don't know if it will focus for us but this little piece of the boning is like poking out of the dress completely unprovoked so I'm between that one and this one which is one of the ones that we got when we went to Dillard's uh not last weekend but in the weekend vlog before that when I was with my mom and my little sister um it's just like really really pretty i posted a picture of me wearing it on instagram it's the softest dress ever looks like the brand is chelsea and violet i've never had anything from that brand and i hadn't been to dillard's in years and years and years but i found so many things i really loved i actually didn't follow up with you guys on what i actually got from that trip i got the star dress i got that dress and then i also got this yellow dress that i showed i think it was just on my story um but i had to go get it fitted because i'm just too tall for everything so basically the problem with me and 90 percent of dresses is where the average size woman's hips are fall on like my waist area so the waist will be like really wide and baggy on me and then the butt will be really tight because that's really supposed to be like the leg area so i had to get that taken in a lot but luckily i was going to like 800 million uh bridal dress appointments so i just brought it with me one time and picked it up another time i'm so excited to wear that one this summer i've totally gotten off track georgetta my mom my sister they all say do the candy land dress i don't know why i feel weird about it i should just do it i know you guys are gonna tell me to do it and if i don't do it y'all are gonna like shame me um okay i want to show you guys curling the extensions but i can't find my little tripod i do you know where it went lana bane she says no i found it yay them all curled uh, but I think it looks pretty good am I crazy am I drinking the kool-aid it's a lot of hair it is over the top a lot of hair this is definitely not an everyday situation do not think that I'm gonna start like wearing extensions all the time because honestly it's just it's just a little too much work for me for the daily use but mm, I'm not hating it here look at the back I don't know how I'm gonna show it to you what do you think about all this hair it's like 80 pounds of hair clipped on to my real hair which is like one pound of hair also this shirt i'm absolutely loving it i went shopping last night and i found this at zara if i can find a link to it i'll put it in the description because it's so cute and just big and fluffy and you could probably eat all the mexican food you want like i'm going to tonight <laughs> this is like food baby shirt or real baby probably is this a maternity shirt someone tell me feeling fresh feeling fine watching the bustle video to become bustle masters oh it's way up. what did you make mom it's called a coconut sheet cake oh my a coconut a sheet cake just eat a bite you don't have to eat all of it are you looking very well 